matter what vehicle you have, whether it's this Corolla behind me that's broke or this F-150 newer vehicle, you can't just go plug and play powertrain components. You know, take for example my Corolla here that I've been working on where I had the ECM problem. If I want to go and put a bigger engine in it from some other manufacturer, I can't do that without having a computer to replace it because these things are so dependent on computers. And you think that's bad. This F-150 is completely computerized. It's got the touchscreen and everything in it. And it's just not that simple. It's not like the old hobby days where you could go grab an engine, put it in there, grab, you know, various different powertrain components, like a different axle, different back end. You know, you used to be able to do that a lot more when it wasn't computerized, but now that everything's computerized, it's just not that simple. And, you know, wouldn't it be nice to be able to say, hey, I want to make an EV and I want to use some Tesla batteries. I want to use a range extender motor from XYZ company. And um, I want to use uh, these regenerative brakes and uh, these axle motors or, you know, these wheel motors. Well, you can't do that right now. Not without someone like me who's got years of programming experience or someone that knows how to make you know the software to work in it and never mind that you got to replace all the computer components because most of them if any of them won't work with the new setup so that's why i say there needs to be a change you need to make these things modular like my computer was where if you want new, more ram you put more ram in you want a bigger hard drive you put a bigger hard drive but you can't do that with a vehicle